I'm Bob Harris, president of the Decorative Concrete Institute. Let's look at a variety of joiners and groovers that are used typically for cutting contraction or control joints into your fresh concrete pour. This will greatly reduce the chance of your concrete cracking. We have the traditional hand joiner or hand groover. Typically what you would do is put a straight edge uh, down over the top of your fresh concrete and run this hand joiner creating a groove and it's also sometimes referred to as a weakened plane joint. What we're trying to do is tell the concrete to crack in this specific joint. We also have what we call a walking groover or a walking joiner. You have a handle attachment and the technician is simply able to push this out. Uh, for example, you could snap a line down into your fresh concrete and push this out and this is also going to create that groove. Occasionally, if we're doing stamped concrete, we'll actually create our control or our contraction joint by simply taking a hand chisel and chiseling it down into the fresh concrete. This is a very nice tool to use. It's a, an efficient tool. Um, this is also used for creating your contraction joint. We simply attach a handle or two or three, depending on how long of a groove you're needing to cut. Snap your line down in your fresh concrete and groove it right into the concrete. Let's show you how it works. Remember, it needs to be a quarter of the slab's depth uh, in thickness for it to be a working contraction joint. As you can see, this is what we call a harsh mix, meaning it has a lot of coarse aggregate. And so it's not uncommon uh, for a lot of the aggregate to become exposed when you're using a tool like this. And so what we'll do is simply close the, the aggregate back up, bring the paste over the aggregate, and if you're using um, a long contraction joint, you would need to use the bull float. You'd simply run the bull float with a handle over this, but you can see I'm not too concerned about reclosing up that area because I want to fill that joint with paste that when now when we run the groover back into it, it's going to be a nice clean defined line and you won't see any aggregate exposure. Remember, to get the most out of your tools, use them properly, and more importantly, use them safely. I'm Bob Harris.